Hello everyone, this is Ridiculous Mad Dancer, this is my Let's Play Auto Sphere Part 9, and we're going to a mid-boss battle. So let's go. Okay, so in just a moment you'll see that this mid-boss battle is different from the other ones. We get to go against two of these guys, and you only have to worry about one health bar for each of them. And hopefully I can get these guys together th so I can throw a uh, toxin at them. Come on. Come on. Over here. Well, okay, don't run all the way. Okay, stay there. Okay, hopefully I can get them both. When I just throw this down. Oh, it kind of pushes them back. Oh, okay, I didn't get the other guy. Um, I guess it's not really worth it to throw another one at, at uh them. You know, I really don't like how you guys have to go for every little thing you do. But, uh, let's see. Well, you know what? Oh. Ah. Oh. Getting me back from poisoning you, huh? Uh, let's see. I did get overload from leveling up and attacks, attack power is doubled temporarily, but I'm not gonna use that right now. Uh, let's use Fozon Burst, uh, if I can not get hit. There we go. Well, I kind of got hit in the process, but oh well. So I guess we just have to pay attention to both of them, obviously, but uh, you know what? Okay. Oh, you guys are everywhere! Okay, um... I should have done this before, but okay. Shield ring, and let's try to drink some painkiller. Where are you? Oh, there you are. I'll see if. I wonder how much the shield ring helps combine with painkiller. But I guess I'll I'll see in just a moment. Oh no 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 no. Okay, yeah, I don't think I could survive that if I did get hit by that charge. Um, I guess... I guess I should heal too, but I'm... Should be okay, I got that guy. And I'm gonna... Hit them with a... Okay, you better not jump! Oh, you did jump! You did jump on my cyclone, but it's still not as good as if you got hit on it straight on. Ugh. Well, oh, there's a butterfly over there, but let me see if I can get rid of this guy before... Oof. Well, it's probably gonna disappear. Ah! You missed me and it, it... Okay, you're still there. Yay! Level 25. So... Yeah, there we go. And I would put a seed down, but I don't really- I want to save those seeds for, uh... For hatching an egg. Oh wait, we have some enemies left, so let's go and get rid of these guys. He's too busy digging right now. You can't throw their bombs at them, just like most things, uh, most enemies that throw items that you can throw them back at them, which is always fun to do. Okay, we didn't do very good, but, uh, oh well. <laughs> I was, uh, I wanted to tell you guys about some other things during that battle, but I was like, okay, it's kind of hard to, to talk about this while I'm trying to concentrate on these two mid-bosses. So, um, let me actually heal myself. Okay, so I do want to talk, you about, talk to you guys about a healing tonic, and you should take advantage of the fact there's so many characters in this area, but you shouldn't rely fully on using that to cure or to recover your HP. And that's because you will not level up your HP if you, if you use that. Only food can do that. And right now it's really good, but as soon as we can actually cook, that will be the best way to level up your HP and heal yourself and I think there's some foodstuffs that help your experience but I could be wrong and 
we'll start cooking after this boss battle, I believe. We can get to the Puka village and they will be able to cook our foodstuffs with the recipes that we have been collecting, which right now we don't have that many. But since I'm since I'm here, uh, let's hatch an egg because we already got one at the last area we fought in and we have quite a few of them so let's see how this works actually let me show you the text that we got for the chicken and eggs the chicken and eggs text chicken of Arion are much more robust than other birds their eggs can hatch without warmth and chicks can grow into a chicken by eating only three seeds feed a chicken seeds and it will continue to lay eggs Chickens are greedy and will attempt to eat all seeds left on the ground, so be careful around them. So there we go. We did get... We also did get uh, some alchemy mixes. As you saw, I, I had a whole bunch of healing tonics, so we can make that with, with material zero and carrot tears. And let's see, toxins. So material six and carrot tears can make that. So, I did mention that in the last episode, but you know, just in case nobody watched it, so... Come on, egg. There we go. Well, there we are. I guess it's kind of cute. So, let's drop some seeds for it. Come on. I'm gonna throw another one down. And obviously don't put the seeds behind the little chick because then it will not see it. That'd be kind of scary if it had eyes in the back of its head. Okay, so that should do it. There's our chicken. And it walks so... Uh, so strangely. It's just like... So derpy. <laughs> but oh well. And uh, I guess if well, I don't need any more eggs, so you can always hit it a few times to get some chicken. Some chicken... Uh, it's not even a leg, is it? It's just like some random part of meat on a bone. <laughs> and um, it's the opposite of the lamb meat. You know, let's go to the inventory screen. Um, so it should be up here. It... Recovers a lot of experience, 200 experience to be exact, and 15 HP. And whereas a lamb chop recovers 100 HP and 50 experience. Well, actually, yeah, no, it is like the opposite, but the, the lamb chop is a little more balanced, I guess. And I'm trying to think of that's about all I need to tell you guys. Hmm. Yeah, that's basically it. And I don't really want the carrot here. But, um... Okay, so I will... I think I will meet you at the... Either the one we're gonna get the... The one stage that we get the map at, or... Um... There's one that also you can fight a bunch of Valkyries. Maybe I'll show that one. Anyways, you guys will see in just a moment. Okay, so this stage has some very strange enemies and I'm very glad to see them because I was getting bored of all the enemies in Odin Land and then, well these ones aren't supposed to be here. They're from the Netherworld and I just look at these guys. They throw up at you so be careful and I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't do what I just did so, um, Actually, there's some tentacles over here somewhere. Yeah, tentacles. So, uh, no, that obviously not them. Okay, I'm looking for some tentacle monsters. Or not really tentacles. They're just tentacles. But I guess they are monsters, too. But, yeah. Ugh. They just, like, go down and they get all fat. Even fatter than they were. It's disgusting. Ugh. Surprisingly, I can- well, actually, I guess it's not very surprising that like, the shield would actually block the vomit. Do you think it would be corrosive? And yeah, those come out as beautiful ladies and then turn into very nasty looking monsters. Oh, goody. 
Ugh. At least the fairies didn't giggle like that. Or else I would just make them... My, well, I don't know. I would say they're my, my most hated enemies so far. Especially the one that heals. Like, they got me so mad. Yeah, I just- I want more enemies like that. Something that I'll just- you know, I just wanna- you know, I wanna kill them! <laughs> but, uh, let's- okay, stop- Stop posing as a pretty young lady. Oh, are you- Okay. Stop trying to take the place of fa the fairies. You're not gonna- You're not gonna take the place of it. And no one's gonna take the place of Lord Brigan! As my favorite villain, of course. As I keep saying over and over again. Oh, I'm not even paying attention. I'm gonna die at this rate. And I, I'm not gonna get a good score at all. They just keep coming. It's like somebody's trying to stop me. Huh. Okay, I know so- oh! Oh, I saw ya. You just a little- like, you look like blackheads. Or something like that on the ground. That's not right. Okay. So, we got another egg and some- text on omelets. So actually, or actually like a recipe. So light and fluffy and delicious. Okay, nice and to the point. So you just use an egg and an aerial coin. So yeah, soon, soon, very soon we'll be able to go to the Puka kitchen. So that's always exciting. Now I'm trying to think, did I want to show you something else? Yeah, I did. I should have gone the opposite way. Oh well. Q Spain. So we can get this Mandragora in this in this area. And um I'm pretty sure we have some alchemy mix for it, so if Yeah, I'm too lazy to go check right now. But yeah, so just so you guys know and uh so the next place we have to go to, or stage, is the boss battle! So, uh, don't worry, I'm not gonna cliffhang you guys here. I'll be right over there in just a moment. Okay, everybody, that was the best line in the game, if you ask me, from Lord Brewer again. And you know, we have to go over here and drink some painkiller. And I do have napalms and toxins, but they're not really going to be very useful against Odin, or Lord Brigan as Odin, but we can throw one for the Valkyrie and Odin will get some damage from that. Very little, but hey, I'll take it. But uh, Odin has a cipher and he will bring the- oh, I wanted that chest, sorry. Um, yes, he has a cipher and he absorbs bosons just as we do. So, um, that's not the only thing. He will throw it at you and sometimes it will come off his chain and it will 
you know, basically bounce around and probably, well, it'll try to, they'll try to hit you. But, um, the best way to go about defeating him is to use Overload, which uh, doubles our attack power temporarily. So, let's chip away his damage, or just like take huge chunks out of it, more like it. And get out of his way, because he'll throw that at us, if, uh, like so. And I'm gonna get that chest this time. Um, oh, just a material zero. But I guess I'll find some use for that later. And let's just hurry up. Uh, I don't care. I'm just gonna keep going. Because <laughs> it is temporary after all, so let's try to get the most use out of it before... Yeah. Okay, it's done now. You don't hear the little sparkly noise, uh, I guess you can call it? Okay, um, uh, oh, no, uh, no, okay. <laughs> Leave me alone, Valkyrie. Oh, fine, whatever. I'm gonna absorb. I, I want that boson! Or those bosons. Okay, so I was going to cast a, a cyclone for that, that cypher, because it does. Ref it would have uh, been able to hit it back at Odin. Well, I to hit it away from us. Is it gonna keep going? Oh, okay, it is. Cypher now, uh, Cyclone now. Uh, I don't, I don't know if it damaged him. I, I think, I know it can be reflected back at him and hit him. Um, I did it off screen and I don't really know how to do that. I'll find out later most likely or I'll look it up or, or if you guys know, let me know. So, but now we actually defeated him, so, uh, yeah. Bye, Lord Brigand. You were the best. You're the best villain in the game. Gwendolyn, you go so quiet, did you? I am very disappointed in you, Gwendolyn, but that's no surprise. ちびた。どういうことですか、お父様。あの男と取引をしたのだ。竜を殺せばお前は耐えると。あの男は見事にお前を勝ち得た。そして指輪は世の元へ。この度の働きでお前の罪は許されよう。戻ってくるのだ、
I won't make any promises about telling you where I'm going, but maybe I'll tell you this time. Okay, let's go. Okay, so this part has become a little bit too long, so I'm actually going to stop it here. And we'll find out what happened to Oswald next time. I hope you all have a great day. Bye! Tell me. Where are you from?